about what AI is being used for. So you can see ChatGPT's outlined the first one, which is uh, natural language processing, which is essentially being able to learn language and understand language and our uses of it and translate and communicate back to us with what it's learned. Um, and that's where you're seeing a lot of the, the marketing materials being used for ChatGPT because it understands what we're asking it to do. If we were to ask it to write something, it understands the language. Uh, next one's computer vision. So see things and understand what they are. So you show it a picture of a dog, it knows it's a dog. Um, if you show it uh, cancer in an x-ray, it knows what kind of cancer it is. So it's able to really understand and learn. And then when it, if it makes a mistake on a dog, on, on, uh, you know, if you put a dog up there and it says it's a cat, then you can teach it what it actually is and, it, and it's continually learning and then starting to understand how to improve that. Machine learning. So uh, smart helper. So essentially it gets better the more it works. So you just, it's almost perfecting the process of, of when it makes mistakes. You see this a lot within finance, uh, with, with trading, where if it makes a loss, it will try and correct it the next time. Robotics, uh, so automa autonomous cars, uh, factory, factories using robots. This has uh, been around for a long time, but it, it's uh, becoming more and more prevalent, uh, which is pretty interesting to watch. Last one is generative AI. So we're seeing uh, essentially a robot artist. So you're able to describe things to a robot and it can generate um, it can generate what images you want to see. And this is developing incredibly quickly, which is going to be quite interesting for, for business owners around stock imagery and what kind of images we can get for free uh, rather than having to pay a photographer or pay for stock images. Just to quickly, I want to highlight if uh, Em can jump into this website here, just for an example that a lot of people have heard about ChatGPT, um, but if you look at this website, it outlines as many AI tools that exist. And you can see it's gone all the way back to 2015. Um, so ChatGPT has been you know, front and center, very popular, but there are so many tools that exist. Uh, there's over six. On this page alone, it outlines uh, 1,700 or so. So there's quite a lot that exists and this just kind of shows the impact that ChatGPT is having with its output. So um, interesting to have a look at that in your own time.